What's going on today guys? Tomcat here and today I'm bringing you guys some more spin tires mods. Now, a lot of you guys actually requested that I go back to the uh, Choco map and do another towing challenge. So, that is uh, that is what we're doing in this video, al but also I'm going to be showing you guys a new truck that I just got, which is a um, Kamaz 6522 something. Um, I don't exactly know all the numbers of what it's called, but the link will be in the description box below. And as you can see, it also has an epic trailer. We're towing a bulldozer without a blade. Uh, on the back, for some reason, I don't know why, um, it doesn't have a, a, a blade on it, but I guess they take that off to tow it. Um, it's got this awesome gooseneck trailer, and you can also see all the inner workings of this truck. I mean, it's a really well-detailed truck, and it has a really nice idle sound, too. It's one of the best diesel idle sounds, uh, in the game, and it also works with the game, or with the, um, with the mod that I have installed to increase the sound of the turbo spool, um, as well as increase the diesel smoke, as you guys will see in just a second when we get going. It rolls coal like a beast, and it pulls, too. It's quite powerful. I've never had it on this map before, though. And since I've never had it on this map, I'm not sure what it'll be able to do, where it'll be able to go. So we're going to kind of have to see as we go, and... Whoa! Okay, that's a bit deep. No, you're kidding me. You have got to be kidding. No way. There you go. There you go. Pull! Pull! Hell yes, there you go. So as you can see, this thing is quite powerful, but the trailer is also quite heavy. I mean, we've got three axles on the back of the trailer, as well as that bulldozer, which is obviously going to add quite a bit to the weight. And through this towing route, I'm thinking that it's probably going to be... With the hills, it'll probably be a bit difficult. I'm not going to lie, it, the hills could stop us. The hills could mess us up. But... Nonetheless, I'm going to try. Nonetheless, I'm going to try because there's nothing like an adventure in a giant semi-truck like this one is. It's absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. And actually, a lot of you guys... Well, that was a weird freeze back there. But no, a lot of you guys were asking me on the stream uh, earlier to, to stream spin tires. To actually get in and stream spin tires. And I don't really know how to stream PC games that well. But I have a, a, a bunch of friends that are willing to help me out. So... Uh, I big thanks to them, and hopefully they're going to be helping me out soon, uh, and get, helping me learn how to stream PC games, uh, really well, because I kind of know how to do it, but I don't know how to, I don't know how to do it properly, I guess you could say. And I'm going to back up and try and attack this again in a lower gear. Shift down below. Power! There you go! There you go! Oh, that went awesomely well. This is having a tougher time, though, than the, uh, than the other truck did towing the missile trailer, because, so, I'm not entirely certain how we're gonna do up the big hill. It might be bad. <laughs> it might be bad. But then again, you never know. I mean, this truck has come through for me more than once, and if it doesn't make it, then we'll just call in the, uh, we'll just call in that M that UAZ again, because, UAZ or MAZ? Or no, MAZ, the UAZ is the little Jeep, um, but the MAZ, we'll just call in that MAZ again, because the last time I, I had trouble, called in the MAZ, pulled us out, no problem whatsoever, because that thing is a badass, it is a badass truck, the MAZ, um, the MAZ freaking eight-wheel beast, what the heck, it's freezing, it's, oh, it's switching to, like, switching to nighttime, or something that's weird it freezes whenever it freezes whenever it does that and you know what actually to bright whoa okay that's weird when i put the e-brake on the trailer disconnects uh that's odd i am going to fast forward and this may cause some freezing issues um to the daytime so that we can well a couple things so we can actually get a more pleasant in-game experience and i mean night, night is cool and all but i think the daytime is a really cool time of day to actually play the game because look how vibrant that is the graphics are so vibrant once you put it to the daytime, so uh, I really like to actually have it set today. I think it looks, like I said, a lot more vibrant and just prettier to look at and nicer to actually play. Hopefully we don't actually scrape the cab, because if we start scraping, uh, scraping, scraping the cab, I'm like, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> I'm not like confusing my words all over the place here, but as long as we don't scrape the cab or get it stuck or get the trailer beached, uh, whoa, okay. Yeah, that's... That was interesting. That was a little bit deep. We probably would have flooded the engine if that was real life, but... Uh-oh. Trailer's getting stuck. Oh, we're pulling it, though! Yes! 
Yes, no problem. No problem whatsoever. Feel a little bit like Captain Slow with this thing, though. This thing is <laughs> feeling a little bit of Captain Slow-ish. What the heck is it getting stuck on? Damn. Okay, that was weird. Alrighty, power up the hill. Full power! Come on! Yes! Yes! Oh, yes, dude! Getting that traction. Putting the power down. Speed! No! No! Shit, that's not good. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Pull. Pull. Oh, jeez. Trailer is stuck in that exact spot. Stop for a little bit. Stick it in the low. Try and ease it out, maybe. Oh, it's grabbing traction somewhere. I don't know where it's getting its traction, but it's getting it somewhere. It's fighting. It's fighting for it. You're gonna go. You pull it a little bit. Come on. Yes! 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 Oh, man. For a minute there, I wasn't too sure if we were gonna get it or not. I got stuck and I was like, oh, damn. We're not having it, but we did. That was awesome. I wasn't sure if it was gonna get it through there or not, but I am impressed with this thing. Genuinely impressed because, like I said, though, this trailer feels heavier to me than the, um, the missile trailer did. I don't know if it's just because I'm driving a different truck or what, but it definitely feels heavier. And this truck is coming through. It really is coming through. Quite proud of it, to be quite honest. I wonder if that, um, that beacon up at the top works. Well, it's not exactly a beacon, but it's lights. I wonder if they come on. No, it's just headlights. Eh, it was a cool idea. It would have been cool if they'd come on, though. It would have been really, really nice, to be quite honest, if it, it would, um, if that would come on. But another thing I did want to uh, tell you guys about is there were some connection issues um, the, when I was previously uh, streaming. Um, I streamed recently. If you guys missed the stream uh, or didn't know about it, I did a, a live stream recently where we did some GTA and some GT6, and I was having some connection issues. But hopefully those will be uh, resolved soon-ish, uh, soon-ish. So, because I'm trying to improve my internet connection speed. Um, it's good for right now for what I do, or it's been, it's been good for me up to now. But now that I've tried a little bit more streaming, um, it's started to be a little bit not as good. A little bit, just kind of not as good. And this is hard. <laughs> this is hard to get through. With a trailer of this size, yeah, it's getting hung up. Oh, come on. Power and power and power and power! Don't slide, don't slide, don't slide. Oh, it's slipping. Or it was slipping. Give me the traction I need. Come on. Yes. There you go. Jeez, that was... This truck is awesome. It is proving to be quite reliable. Quite reliable through the mud, especially. Way more than any other track, the standard tractor trailer truck. I mean, with three axles, at least. All of the other trucks that I've had that were this good, um, had four axles, but this, I mean, this, this is, I, I'll be honest right now, the, to, to tell you guys this, it is a brilliant truck, it is a brilliant truck, it's got a ton of power, and I highly recommend downloading it if you guys want a, like I said, a really high powerful truck that's not, um, that's not an 8x8, um, I highly recommend downloading this truck, and look, the driver actually moves around in the cabin, like, bounces around a little bit, depending on the bumps you're going over. As long as you have it in low, and you kind of work the steering a little bit, then you can usually make it over. Ow. Ow. Oh, we might be... Oh, God. No, we're, I think we're okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Come on. Oh, shit. We might be in for it now. Yeah, we're in for it now. This is going to be really hard to get out of as far as like just getting out of this whole situation with this tree uh <laughs> we might need something along the lines of a respawn button no 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 we're good this is gonna be hard though these mud holes are gonna be a little difficult i think to manage so we gotta manage that trailer but we also gotta make sure that the the, the whole like setup truck and trailer we gotta make sure they don't fold in half it's caught on a tree, but hopefully gravity can take care of that. Come on. Come on! Yes, there you go! Pull! 
we get it out the other side? Well, at least without that, without incident, or well, that much of an incident anyway. Oh no, no, not now, not now, not now. We're so close. We're nearly there, nearly out. Yes, got traction. It's always that one point, that one point when you grab traction, and you're so happy you've got it too. You grab traction and you're like, yes, we're out, finally. Ooh, it's having problems. Really pushing it. Getting it, getting it. At least it's, uh-oh. I was about to say at least it's not digging in, but it is digging in a little bit. As long as I work the steering angle just a little bit. There we go. And get it out little by little as long as I keep working that steering angle. We can continue to pull this thing out. Uh, it's not looking good right now though because one wheel's off the, or one tire I guess I should say. One tire's off the ground and there's mud over there which I don't want to go into but it looks like I'm kind of headed for it now. Oh, this is not, oh, this is not a great situation, but we're kind of powering through it, a little bit at least. Yes, yes, we've got more movement, yes! Oh, beast! Beast, we finally got it out of there. Hopefully that mud won't be too much of an issue, but yeah, no problem. Well, a little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem, but I don't like to, I don't, I wouldn't like to dwell on that, at least because this obstacle looks like it might be even harder. I mean, it's just a little dip in the road, but... It's a little more... No, never mind. Didn't take us quite as long to get out of that. Although, there are trickier ones coming up. Hills that are quite steep. And especially the up and down bits, I think are going to be really hard with a trailer of this size. Because, and, well, the size and the length of the trailer. And also the weight. Because the weight plays a major role in whether you can get over these or not. And I'm hoping we don't have an issue beaching the trailer here. Hopefully gravity will help take care of that. Oh yeah, no problem. We're good. There's, oh god, we've been submerged. Our dude is, um, dude's taking an unexpected bath. A unexpected shower, which is, uh, is quite dirty. <laughs> Pulling it out of the water, or muddy water at least, nicely though. Water just coming off the tires. I love how it comes off the tires like that. Just kind of evaporates off the tires. It's really, really nice, really cool. Um, and there's almost like a steam effect that comes off of the tires, which is really cool. Now this next obstacle is hard. This next obstacle is actually kind of hard. And this is one of the spots where I thought I'd had it in the last towing challenge. And I've left it in low for a reason because if I go into high, we might not get through any of these that easily at least. Dang, this is deep. I, I don't know if you would try this in real life or not. I don't think so. I mean... Maybe if you've got, like, the semi-driving skills of a god. I am a driving god! I've made it through the... Never mind. Never mind. Can you pull out? Oh, can you pull it out? Yes! Apparently, well, maybe if I work it back the other way. There we go. About three-quarters throttle. About three-quarters throttle. Taking it. Yes, taking it. That trailer's super heavy, though. No denying how heavy that trailer is. Maybe back it up just a little bit to try and realign myself. Try and stick it in high. There we go. That gave us a little bit of an extra boost of power. Come on, pick up traction. There you go. We're making it. Uh-oh. We might not be. <laughs> might not be. The truck kind of reared up for a second. Next mud hole. Mud hole... With a, with a hill that's got a corner, so not too sure about how we're going to fare here. Oh my god, that's the deepest one yet. Oh, front tires were kind of pulled off the ground for a bit. Oh, don't dig. Don't dig, don't dig, don't dig, please. Please don't dig, just hook. Yes, it's hooking. It's hooking, I think. Full throttle right now. Really hoping I don't dig here. Try and work the steering angle again because that's my only hope with this thing. Uh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't go backwards. <laughs> now that we've got it in low, we're going to pick it up a little bit more traction. 
I'm gonna say about three quarters throttle right now, half, around half throttle, three quarters throttle. Pulling that trailer through the mud is the biggest issue here. By far the biggest issue. Yes! That's the thing with this truck though, it never, it never really gets totally stuck. I mean, it'll spin its tires a bit, but, uh, spin its tires, game spin tires, um, but it'll spin its tires a bit, but it'll hook again. It'll spin its tires just a little bit, and then it'll grab traction again. This thing, you can always be confident that it'll find traction no matter where you are, and I hope I haven't spoke too soon on that. <laughs> I really hope I haven't spoke too soon, because this hill looks like it might be a little bit challenging in that respect. Oh, are you going to get it? There you go. There you go, and it was, it was, okay, it was close enough that we did not actually bottom out the trailer on the top of the hill, because I'm always worried about the trailer bottoming out on, uh, on the, on hilltops. Well, hilltops, rises in the terrain when you got a trailer this low, I mean, a gooseneck trailer is definitely going to be lower, and you're going to be worried a little bit more about bogging it, er, not bogging it, uh, bottoming it out, bottoming it out, because if you think about it, it's not exactly meant to go in these places. It was kind of meant to do... <laughs> it's kind of meant to make a delivery across a highway. <laughs> a highway kind of like... This trailer is more... Whoa-oh. Uh-oh. Where have you gone? Okay, it does that sometimes. Weird little glitch. Weird little glitch. But then again, this game has all sorts of weird little glitches. I've found many of them, and I'm sure if you've played it, you have too. But uh, if anybody's wondering how I removed the snow mod... All I did was, I, I made a backup of my media file before I installed the snow mod, and then I completely replaced the file and just added uh, Choco Map back in. Now, this might be kind of challenging. Let's take it slow, because this might end up... Whoa! Okay, that's not a view any truck driver ever wants to see. As long as that trailer doesn't make us flip, we're gonna be okay. Come on, apply the power now. This is full throttle, trying to get through as quickly as possible. Trailer slid, and we're good. Now, this is where I flipped that, uh, oh god, what was it? The MAZ. Uh, this is where I flipped the MAZ last time. So, it's the hardest part of the entire route, because you're being pushed down a river. But, hopefully this thing, it looks like it's heavy enough that it's, it's going to be weighed down the whole way. It's just kind of, it's just kind of floating down the river, but it's, this is by far the, uh, the hardest, uh oh, dude's like, dude's like, <laughs> can't commentate, underwater, can't commentate, um, but that is definitely the hardest part of the route, that's where, um, the largest amount of trucks have failed, but this hill is so steep, it is so steep, as you guys can see, that, I'll be honestly really surprised if that trailer uh, doesn't um, doesn't bottom out at the top of the hill. Yes, yes, get the power on. Ooh, come on, get some steering lock. Yes, it's pulling it. It's literally pulling that trailer on end now. It is literally pulling the trailer on end, which is crazy. It's actually hauling the trailer not on the wheels, but on the actual metal on the end of the trailer. It's dragging from the tailgate, which is really impressive, and I think that bush might have completely screwed this entire uh, climb up. I'm gonna be mad if it has. Let's reverse out of it real slow. Are you kidding me? That bush has us caught and we can't... Oh, no. Or maybe... We're kind of getting out. Slowly but surely, we're kind of getting out. Just got to get it out of the way of that front axle, and we'll be good to go. There we go. Can we kind of go around it? No, don't go under it again. Damn. Don't go under it again. Yes, there we go. Yes. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. It, it keeps drifting back over it. That stupid bush! That's probably gonna... If, if that doesn't ruin our whole run here... Man. Though, although it's either go through the bush or go through the trees. The truck's glitching, though. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, God. That was scary. That was majorly scary. Is there no alternate route? 
Uh, not really. It's all trees. Damn, it's all trees. We don't really have any options. I mean, that bush, though, is screwing us up. That's the biggest problem with this entire hill is that bush. The biggest problem with this entire hill is that bush. But I've stuck it in high. I'm going full power. I'm going to try this one more time. This is high, full power. Oh, yes, run that bush over. Screw you, bush. We are over it. We are there. We are across the hill. We actually did not beach the trailer. We did not beach the trailer. We did not beach it. We did not bottom it out. Well, beach it, bottom it out, same thing. We made it past the hardest part of the route. And I am actually pretty proud of the fact that I was able to bring this thing through the entire towing challenge. That is... That, that, that is a big deal for a truck like this. That is a big deal. I mean, it's no big deal in, you know, uh, an SUV or a pickup or uh, especially a crawler or anything like that. They can get through there just fine. But once we get through this little muddy bit, this will be the first semi ever to have completed the entire towing challenge in spin tires. And at least on my channel, if any of you guys have completed it with any other semis or any other uh, truck and trailer setups, let me know in the comments below. But I am thoroughly proud of that run that run was that run was a lot of things it was fun it was tense it was enjoyable i thoroughly enjoyed that run and i'll definitely try pulling some other trailers maybe even the missile trailer uh with this uh with this truck because this truck this truck pulls hard it's got a ton of torque and it really did a great job i'm thoroughly impressed with it so if you guys want to get this mod uh it will be in the description box below if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to leave me a like Tell me in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.